Well, here we are again, and a question I constantly get is, how do you really deadhead, and do you need to deadhead things like petunias? And in this particular case, we're looking at a petunia that is supposedly self-cleaning, that's what they call them, but in fact, <clears throat> you'll see that there are some wilted blooms, and I can tell you that when you take that bloom off, that's going to just encourage more flowers. So where do you pull it off? Here? Or down here? Well, you pull it off down here, and you take your, your thumb and just nip it off like that, right at the place, point where it meets the stem. So here's another one. I'll take that one off. Whoops, that one fell off its blossoms. But I would also still take the flower blood off that, because that then triggers new bloom on the stem. Here's another one. So right back, right back to the stem, down there until I can find it, and nip it right off. So you can see that that's what you take off, the whole flower and its stem, right back to the main stem. It's really simple. Now, if you're dealing with some things that are a little bit more tricky, that um, aren't petunias, uh, it's the same same idea, same same um, you know process. Here's, here's a plant, for example, it's been cold, these have been in the garage. This one got a touch of frost, so I don't want to keep it on the plant because the plant's busy trying to heal itself, and it doesn't need to put that energy in that place. I want it to put its energy into making flowers. So I'm going right back to that stem, see the main stem there, and I'm just going to pinch it off right there and get rid of it. Simple as that, pruning flowers, deadheading flowers, no magic, just a simple, simple operation.